in mid January 2025, the B580 GPU was released to the public, and at first it came out with mixed results. Some users had issues with the driver and compatibility with certain games. Some were also complaining that it could only run games smoothly with high end CPUs. Now this begs the question, are all the issues that it faced a few months ago has been fixed now, in March 2025? Now we will try running the GPU on Cyberpunk 2077 using the same settings as before without the upscaling technology. And as we can see, are the FPS of average 1% low and 0.1% low is lower than we previously tested. And as expected, Cyberpunk still has a few visual glitches that needs to be fixed even in 2025. But what's more important is that we are having trouble with FPS stability more than before. Meanwhile, in Red Dead Redemption 2, we are seeing higher FPS average with 63 FPS. It runs really well above 60 FPS most of the time at least in 1080p resolution. Lastly, we are testing the GPU in Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. This is the latest game I've tried this GPU in, and it really stresses this GPU out. On max settings, I am getting an average of 38 FPS in the town of Gutenberg. If you notice, there is a little bit of status whenever I'm moving my character. It also doesn't help that I am at the busiest part of Gutenberg, so it really struggles to render everything out. Now I have to remind you guys that I am testing all of these games using a Ryzen 5 5600G, so the result may vary if you are using other CPUs. As far as I know, there is a driver overhead issue when it comes to the B580. So you should be careful when you are playing with older generation of CPUs. God, that is all for this video. If you have any question, please leave a comment. Don't forget to leave a like. And also don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.